The Brownsville Neighborhood Innovation Lab is an initiative that uh, comes out of uh, President Obama's smart uh, city technology. This community would be the first one to really have access to some of these smart city technologies, uh, whether it's a smart bench or smart trash cans, um, other technologies that could uh, change their lives. This is um, the first step to figuring out if we should be using technology or how we should be using technology as a venue to solve uh, neighborhood problems. The reason why we picked Brownsville is because we see this as a community that's on the rise. Um, we know that between our efforts and other organizations that are doing work, um, Brownsville is going to change. We have a real issue in Brownsville with, with the connectivity landscape. People around here don't have access to the internet. It's the kind of thing that makes you think, like, how are we really going to empower our young people when uh, half of them, like nearly half of them, don't, uh, don't have access at home. Technology is helpful for us. Most of the kids in this community live within this borough, just within Brownsville. For them, that is their world, and they don't know anything outside of that. We're exposing people in Brownsville to tech, um, so that way they not only become consumers of it, but um, are a part of that, of, of the growing economy. Oftentimes, uh, communities like Browns don't have the opportunity to access this type of technology. And so, um, you know, we've been very uh, privileged to be a part of this innovation lab because it gives us the opportunity to really understand the possibilities for areas like Brownsville, but also make sure that the community has a level of self-determination in terms of the types of technology that come into their area and also how it'll be able to uh, change their lives for the better. So we are beginning in Brownsville, but the point of this program is to go citywide. The SUFA bench is, uh, is, is kind of a first generation smart furniture. It has a cell phone charging station. There is all kinds of sensors that are emerging to essentially gather information, uh, like track, environmental air quality or even track the number of pedestrians crossing through a street. And the SUFA bench is, is a place that, that has the, the potential to host those kinds of sensors and, and generate that, that, that kind of information. The kiosk is something that's kind of interesting because it's not the link kiosk that you see around the city. It's essentially a touch screen uh, with an internet connection. Something like a kiosk could be uh, an access point for information about um, fresh foods having just arrived at the local market. In terms of the smart city trash can, uh, it will allow users to know, you know when a particular trash can is full. Inside of the trash can there's a compactor and because of that, that trash can can hold five times more trash. It will also be able to relay information back to the city to let them know that trash can is full so it needs to be picked up. The information that that gives sanitation, how often do we need um, sanitation services in, in Brownsville, um, that, I think that's important to know. People obviously are a little bit skeptical because, uh, you know, a lot of times they don't see these type of technologies in their neighborhood, so when it comes into their neighborhood, they, they have a healthy bit of skepticism thinking that, okay, it's not for them, it's for maybe people who are gonna be coming five or 10 years after. I think we should take some ownership over the tools that we think work for us. And so if we decide that um, technology is helping to push the needle on the, on the issues that we identify and define as um, something that we want to solve, we should take ownership over it.